your nails again. <laughs> Why can't you wear that coat properly? Look like the Count of Monte Cristo. It's got sleeves in it. Why don't you use them? The police are after me. Who hey, what? It's not funny. I hit one of them. <laughs> you was a policeman? But you, I didn't know he was a policeman. Someone knocked his helmet off. Thought he was a porter. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hit him? Yeah, we were making a political protest. Oh, not again. Yeah, we tried to uh, enter a meeting of uh, the National Front and somebody called the police. Well, I didn't actually hit him, I just sort of uh, pushed him in the back. <laughs> well, he, uh, he wasn't very pleased. He turned around, he was very pale. He said, what'd you do that for? And uh, I don't think he was very strong. Yeah. What did you say? Well, I said, I'm sorry, I thought you were somebody else. And he says, I'll get you for that, so I came away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think Lenin would have left it like that. <laughs> Listen, I was the only one who stood up to the police dog. Oh. I wasn't frightened. <laughs> I patted him. We've got a cheer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you think do you think they will come here? Nah. We'll try the airports first. <laughs> oh, you'll be all right. Hey, you wouldn't be the first. We had one bloke stopping here, jumped in that wardrobe every time I opened the door. I don't know what he went up to. We spent more time in that wardrobe than out of it. <laughs> I'd like that very much. Oh, we'll have to get used to wardrobes if you're going to be a revolutionary. I don't think I'll make a very good revolutionary. I have to keep rushing off to the lavatory. <laughs> You can't keep dashing off to the lavatory during a demonstration, can you? No, no, not very well. No. Well, I told you, warned you didn't, I shouldn't have got involved with them. Anyway, if you keep this up, I shall have to give you notice. Hey, wait a minute. What about free speech? Look, that's not the point. You're giving this place a bad name. I've got my position to think of. I'm a member of the Conservative Club. <laughs> can't get on the billiard table as it is. You know your trouble, Rixby. You're a social climber. No, well, I haven't got very far, have I? There's only one bloke down the club ever speaks to me. He washes their glasses. <laughs> Is that why you're canvassing for him? Yes. Thought I'd do a bit this morning. Won him a few votes. <laughs> Didn't get many arguments. Well, that surprises me. I know. I had the megaphone, you see. First sign of any trouble, I gave him a thousand decibels straight between the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, left him with the reds ringing. Yes, I think I did myself a bit of good this morning. With a bit of luck, I'll be playing 101 up with Colonel Devere Brown before the week's out. <laughs> You'll never get in, Tory twit. Oh, don't you bank on it, mate. You'll be there. <laughs> Mind you, what the committee are going to say when they find out I'm sheltering a Marxist, I don't know. I've told you before, I'm not a Marxist. Ooh, not much. Well, who, who's, who's that on the wall then, eh? Not your granny, is it? Eh? <laughs> Another sworn enemy of capitalism and shaving. <laughs> what, what, what have you Marxists got against shaving, anyway? Look, I'm not a Marxist. As a matter of fact, I'm a Maoist. Ah, yes. I notice your eyes are getting quite horizontal these days. <laughs> Must be all those crispy noodles you've been eating. <laughs> anyway, how, how can you be a Maoist in a local election? And as far as I can see, it's a straight fight between Conservative and Labour with modest intervention from the Liberals. So unless they're putting someone up from the Lotus House, your vote's going to be wasted, mate. I shall vote Labour, of course. Oh, I should, what do you mean? <laughs> You've never had a pair of overalls on in your life. No, the workers and the students must unite, right? We must link arms against the common enemy. <laughs> you get anyone linking arms with you, not in those trousers. <laughs> I can just see you linking arms with a six-foot steel worker, <laughs> swapping your cucumber sandwiches for his three-inch jam butties. <laughs> what are you going to do? Offer him a glass of red wine and a whiff of your aftershave? <laughs> he won't know what to make of you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Not another one. <laughs> I thought he was a funny-looking Maoist, but you're ridiculous. Look at me. Oh, neither does a Chinaman. You leave a lot to be desired. <laughs> uh, don't you know their theories? We well, see, the Chinese believe that when God made us, he put us all in the oven to bake. Apparently he took us out before we were ready. The Chinese were done to a golden turn, and you lot were burned to a bloody crisp. <laughs> you see, whichever way you look at it as a Chinaman, you're a definite failure. <laughs> we're not talking about race, Rick, but we're talking about a political philosophy. Oh, right? yes. Uh, and you can't vote here anyway. You're not eligible. <laughs> at least I can lend my support. What, what, what for? I mean, you should be on our side, son of a chief. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. Yes, you feel guilty. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You've been beastly to the servants. <laughs> <laughs> He wants to be popular. He wants to be carried shoulder high around the mud huts. <laughs> yeah, well, you better watch it. You start talking about equality, they might notice your huts a bit bigger than theirs. <laughs> Carry your shoulder high then, mate. Went down the crocodile pool. I didn't expect you to understand, Rigsby. You're a reactionary. No, I'm not. You want to bring back hanging. Oh, so what? A lot of people want to bring back hanging, mate. Not in public, <laughs> Uh, anyway, you should talk. What about your country, eh? Want to change the government there? They send for the skinning men. It's not true. <laughs> democratic elections. Oh, 
It's what happens to their losers. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It's not a pretty sight. What, what, what happens to them then? Well, they take two saplings and tie them together. Then they tie a leg to each and mm. cut the rope. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of losing your deposit. It's <laughs> a good idea. I saw that in a Tarzan film once. We ought to do that to the tourists uh, and just hear the sound of <laughs> ripping pinstripes. Oh, very funny, yes. Yeah. What have you got against the Tory party, anyway? What about the three-day week? Well, well, I don't know what you're complaining about. The five-day one never suited you. <laughs> anyway, that's not our fault. You can blame that on those mates of yours, the one with the little lights on the reds. You can't blame the miners, mate. They were only after a decent living wage. That's right. Jeez, look, could you believe anything, wouldn't you? D -d 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 Don't you know what's behind all these strikes, all this, all this political unrest? Russian gold. Russian gold? For heaven's sake. Shut my God, they've certainly taken you in, haven't they? <laughs> You've only got to see the Red Army Ensemble dancing around, singing a little brown jug, and you think they're marvellous. <laughs> Well, you're not using this place as a centre for subversion, all right? Subversion? Yep. No political meetings here, all right. And you can stop giving that clenched fist salute to the baker as well. <laughs> got my position to think of. I was hoping to enter the round table canoe race this year. <laughs> all we're after is a fairer society, right? All we want is more sharing. Oh, yeah. Is that why you keep squeezing Miss Jones's toothpaste? <laughs> what she thinks to all this, I can't imagine. Ruth agrees with us. Yeah, too right, man. She's on our side. Uh, oh, oh, yes. Well, for your information, Miss Jones is a don't know. <laughs> She was a don't know, but I had a long session with her the other night. <laughs> she knows now. Yeah. Well, I had a long session with her yesterday, and she agreed with every word I said. That's because she's frightened you'll cut her water off. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Jones. I, I, I just heard the most disturbing news. In fact, I could hardly believe my ears. It's not true, Mr. Rigsby. We're just good friends. <laughs> what? Pardon? I, I, I mean, about the election. Oh, the election. Yes, yes. I mean, th th those two upstairs have just had the nerve to say that you're going to vote Labour. Oh, yes, I know. Philip can be so persuasive. Oh, but, but you <laughs> can't, Miss Jones. Not a woman of your background. Well, to tell you the truth, I simply can't make up my mind. I feel so responsible, especially after watching Shoulder to Shoulder. <laughs> I keep thinking of all those women chaining themselves to railings. Yes, but, but, but I explained it all to you yesterday, Miss Jones. I know. Yes, I mean, I, don't you remember I showed you how we were going to balance the payments, encourage investment, <laughs> eradicate unemployment and cure inflation? <laughs> don't you remember? I did it all on the back of that cigarette pack. <laughs> Yes, I know, but you see, I still have doubts. Yes, well, I can understand that, Miss Joe, but you must remember our world is in danger. What world is that, Mr. Rizzo? I mean, our world, Miss Jones, the, 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 the Sunday afternoon game of tennis, <coughs> the sound of ball against gut, <laughs> scattered applause from the deck chairs. I didn't know you played tennis. Oh, it's never off the course before Miss Strings went. <laughs> you know, I still remember those days, Miss Jones. I, I can see it now, you know, the sun slanting through the French windows as we sipped our iced lemonade. 